All right, hey guys. So, I just wanted to do a quick little update video. Um, I'm at my desk, so of course I'm playing with my Anaconda Hognose because he lives on my desk for right now. Um, he is adorable. Anyway, um, Granddaddy Herps and I were talking the other day, and he was asking me, he's like, so are you completely out of ball pythons? Because all of your videos lately have been on hog noses. So I figured, I mean, I told him the answer in text, but I wanted to let all you guys know. No. <laughs> I am not completely out of ball pythons. Um, my collection is still up on my website, what I currently have. Um, minus... Uh, my holdbacks for this season are still undetermined. Uh, I have determined that I plan on selling the ivory. Um, this little dude is just inching in between my fingers like a weirdo. He probably wants to eat even though I fed him yesterday. This guy would f eat every day if I let him. But anyway, um, I'm going to sell the female ivory. Uh, I decided to sell the holdback female yellow belly because I'm going to hold back a male and then shoot for a super fly and hold back a female super fly. I think that would be more useful to me. Not yellow belly, firefly. Why did I say yellow belly? Uh, firefly. Um, one of my holdback firefly has already sold. There's already a deposit on it and we're working out the payments. So, if the other one doesn't sell, I'll just hold it back. It's just as nice, you know, so I'm not going to complain. It's actually nice in a, in a different way. Oh, you fell. Not like you fell far. You fell three inches. But, uh... What was I going to say? Oh, yeah, so I'm holding back the male. I'm not sure if I'm going to hold back the female fire yet. Um, I have to get her eating. I had to force feed her her first meal. Every year, there's always one or two babies that need me to force feed them. Um... That's pretty much it for holdbacks this year. I, I'm planning on holding back a lot. Uh, if I still have a bunch of animals come September, I'm going to probably vend at White Plains again. I know I said I didn't want to until I was hatching hog noses, but I'll just bring everybody. I think I've got like 12 animals left for sale or something like that, so I'll just bring them all and see what I can get for them. Uh... As far as projects go, next season, well, oh, heck with that, let's bring up my website. Next season, I'm looking at, uh, probably, uh, Butter to Mojave, I'm thinking, um, I'm not going to do the fire again. Because I've got a super pastel coming in from uh, one of my pewters from a couple years ago, which is part of the pastel project, to a pastel. A friend produced a pewter. Or no, well, he did pewter. He produced a pewter this year, actually. But uh, he produced a super pastel he's going to send to me. Uh, she's not ready to breed yet. The granite dinker is ready to breed. This is not an updated picture of her. She's big. I'll probably. Actually, I might put her to the fire, see if I can hatch out some fire granites. That's if I decide to breed her, though. Um, I might wait another year. I'm not sure whether or not this girl's going to go. If she does, she's going to the Pastavi. Uh, she's not ready. Sh if she goes, she's going to go to the Butter, the Mojave. I'm going to try the Nexus one more time. If she doesn't breed for me, I'm going to sell her. Because her daughter will be ready to go next season. Um... But this is my pastel project female. She's going to go to a super pastel, her super pastel grandson. And this is a female that's possibly a firefly. So I'm thinking if my male firefly is ready, I'll breed this female to the male firefly and shoot for super flies. And if, uh, I'll know if she's a fire, firefly, I'll know if she's a firefly if I hatch out super fires. So yeah, uh, that spider's not ready. Eventually I'm going to work her into the pastel project. And if the yellow belly is ready, I'm going to put the super pastel to her so I can get some uh, pastel project. Oh, wait, this is the male. This is the female. Pastel project yellow belly. Uh, pastel yellow bellies. So I'm still in ball pythons. I've just cut my collection down a lot. I've cut my projects down a lot. Um, you know, I've got certain animals I want 
to make an ad. So we'll go from there. Um, I'm not sure if I I'm not sure when I'm gonna buy another ball python. It's gonna be a while. I mean, I'm not gonna lie. Like I still like ball pythons, but I'm not as passionate about them as I was. Um, the passion for hog noses has kicked up a lot. So, I mean, right now I've got nine. Um, I'm not going to be adding any more soon. Of course, I say that because we've got other things going on. We're going to be moving again soonish. Most of the stuff is going to donations. And then this is stuff that's not ours. Um, my landlord slash roommate came home couple weeks ago and was like oh hey uh i'm engaged and expecting a baby which was just completely out of the blue because he just started dating this girl it's a long story but short and skinny of it is uh we're not gonna live in this house with four people <laughs> so christine and i just can't do that uh he just got funding for a small house and he's looking at that one. If not, I mean, there's a couple around town that are for sale um, that he's going to rent to us with the possibility of renting to own. So that would be cool. And uh, yeah, so we're going to be moving. So I don't, you know, I'm going to be, I'm going to need money for that. And then uh, I need any of money for other things, bills and people I owe money to. So I'm working on paying back. So I'm not going to be at anything any, anytime soon. But I'm good with what I've got for right now. So, uh, current animals for sale are up on the website. Let me know if you want anything. Uh, all prices are negotiable, you know, all that jazz. So, that's what's going on. I'm um, still into ball pythons. I'm not dropping out. I'm probably never going to be completely out of ball pythons. You know, I just cut it down to a select number of animals. And, of course, animals will be replaced as, you know, as, as, I'm, as I go. I'll probably never replace her because I like her, but, um, you know, as I, as I make combos and they mature, you know, like if I hatch a blue-eyed leucistic female, I'll hold it back and then I'll eventually sell the adult Mojave. Um, the lesser, right now, the main thing going to her when she's old enough will probably be a Enchi. Um, the butter, his main goal right now is to produce a blue-eyed leucistic uh, actually, honestly, once I produce a blue eye leucistic, if I produce a male, I'll probably hold it back, sell the butter, and then go for, I want butter genetic stripes. So once she's ready, I can breed a blue eye leucistic to her and have all Mojaves and butters het genetic stripe. You know, then hold back a butter het genetic stripe and breed it back to her. Well, it's all in the future, but I want to cut it. I mean, this video's eight minutes long, and I wasn't expecting it to be that long, but I wanted to let you guys know what was going on, so, you know, don't worry, I'm not leaving ball pythons, uh, I've just been stressed lately, um, I'm trying to get that new job, I should find out next week, if I don't get that new job, I'm probably gonna have to find another part-time job, um, and we'll go from there, you know, I'll figure it all out, I just, when I'm stressed, I, I, tend to be introverted and stay away from people and the general public and when I'm stressed I also get cranky so I try to stay away from YouTube because I don't want to end up saying something stupid to somebody you know I mean that's how that's how a fight that got fixed broke out between me and another YouTuber I was just in a bad mood and I'm smart ass comments and it ended up poorly but we, we fixed it so we're back to being friends but uh, I, I just, you know, I don't want to do that again because I, I, I know how I am when I get depressed and when I get cranky. So I steer away from people so I don't say something dumb. But uh, that's it for now. Uh, more later. I